Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Imagine, imagine that your system, your application, is running energy efficient, driven by data, data components in your system share, data the building automation system is sharing with your components, energy efficiency is increasing. Imagine that we have not fixed energy prices, but the energy prices can fluctuate. If the wind is blowing and the sky is not cloudy, since the energy prices are going down because we have a lot of green energy. Imagine that your equipment, your components are talking with windmills, are talking with solar panels and activating themselves as much as possible when green energy is available, data-driven. Imagine in case your components are aging 10, 15, 20 years in the field, they are still working reliable. Imagine long-term reliability of your components. Imagine in case you have um, issues and you have troubles in the field at your fingertip, you easily can find out the root cause and solve it. Imagine digitization. Imagine it's dark. Imagine the air is getting hotter and hotter because the air conditioning is not running anymore. The escalators, the elevators are not working. Imagine we are hacked. Is this a real threat? Can this happen in reality? Or is this only a topic of Facebook and Google and those um, um, enterprises? Can an air conditioning system, a compressor, a fan be hacked? Let's see. Has anybody of you ever seen this web page, showdown.io? It's a nice web page, like a Google for um, components, like a Google for systems, technical systems. And if you enter in the field here, not um, a search topic, but a, a company name or a product name, and you could enter all names of the, um, of the community, you could enter all names of technical manufacturers, then you find directly IP addresses of installed um, systems in the field. Here's the IP address, and you receive as a feedback additional information, which type of controller is used, where is the location um, of this um, product. If you enter this IP address, which you easily found out in the last step, if you enter this in your um, Internet Explorer or um, Firefox, whatever you're using, then you directly come to the login page. Imagine somebody has not changed the default login data, username and password, then you're in. But you have, in many cases, additional information, the location, where the system is placed, the type of controller, the type of interface, the software version. A lot of information is, is closed in this very website here. And you have the login field. And in case somebody has changed the default login data, there is a special version of Linux, the Kali Linux, um, this operating system, which is dedicated for hacking um, those sites. You can run an automated password attack with this um, operating system, which is available free in the internet. CT is a very famous um, computer magazine in Germany. Cheap and evil ha hacking gadgets. They um, had this um, issue some, um, some years ago, maybe two years ago, and I bought it, I read it, was interesting, cheap devices, how you can eavesdrop, Bluetooth communication and those things. And I thought, well, if I want to buy such a device, such a gadget, do I need to go to the dark net where um, drugs are sold and weapons are sold? No, it was much easier. I just used my Amazon account. I could buy those um, devices, and the um, device you see here in the bottom of the page is a um, small device, maybe 50 euros, 
um, something like this, to eavesdrop Bluetooth communication. It took me around about three hours to set it up, to download the software from the internet, and then I could um, see the um, data stream from my iPhone. Of course, still encrypted, it's, it did not decrypt it, but I have seen my Bluetooth communication of my iPhone. So, it is a real threat. Hacking of machines, hacking of systems, technical systems, can happen. And now is the big question, what can we do against it? At ASACOM, the Association of European Refrigeration Component Manufacturers, I'm um, leading a working group where we have um, set up a guideline how you can really um, make your systems much more secure. This guideline will be published at Chilventa, and I will go much more into details when I give a presentation at Chilventa. You have now the chance to have a preview um, to this guideline, which was developed at ASACOM. I invite you all for the Chilventa um, to see more details uh, in more detail when we have more time. But it's really a takeaway from today, because it's not difficult. It's not rocket science to make IT systems and connected um, components much more secure than it's uh, with the default parameters. And the first point is very simple, change the default password. The default password is typically written in the manual and it should be changed for both admin and users. And by the way, 123456 is not a really good password. You should not use it. Use a password which is much more random, should contain characters, numbers, and special characters. And the advice is to have a password length of at least eight digits. This is really nothing too critical, too difficult, but it makes your system much more secure. Easy to do, but often forgotten. Another point, if you have a network where you have office devices, office PCs and everything, maybe an enterprise um, resource planning system. And on the other hand, you have a production system. You have HVAC um, equipment, you have machines. These should not be directly connected. There should be a firewall, a router in between. You should segment it. This is also not a um, difficult thing for your IT guys or so to do. Simply place a box in between and separate it. It is possible to harden technical systems by simply closing ports, disabling IP addresses, or closing, uh, disabling um, protocols. For those who are not so much in the um, details here, the idea is very simple. A fan or a compressor does not need to watch YouTube videos. YouTube has a certain IP address, and this can dis be disabled for a compressor, for an expansion valve, for a fan. No need to access it. And it's very easy, um, again, for the IT guys to harden a system and to close those ports. This is not brain surgery. Simply do it. A very important um, recommendation which we have um, written in this guideline from ASACOM is use encrypted communication wherever possible. Use HTTPS, use Bluetooth encryption, because otherwise um, somebody could um, eavesdrop easily and simple um, your communication and read and listen to all your passwords to your login data. So simply activate the click, um, the communication should be encrypted. Place IT components like a router, like um, controllers and those things in a locked um, cabinet, in a locked room. I have seen pictures and um, installations where you really easily could access all this IT equipment and then it's open to everybody. Just close the door, lock the door. This is very simple, very straightforward um, security means, um, security um, possibilities, and use it. Close the door, place a lock at the door. This helps a lot to keep people out. And I'm coming to the last two points. Deactivate Bluetooth and Wi-Fi whenever it's not used or not needed. 
In many situations, we have um, a service technician, a maintenance guy, um, using the Wi-Fi and the wireless communication to talk with the equipment in the field, but it's not needed 24-7. You can deactivate it when the maintenance um, is finished and the system is running alone. Deactivate um, wireless communication whenever it's possible and you do not need it directly. And the final recommendation which we give at ASACOM is install all available updates for all the components you're using. This means firewalls, routers, but also smartphones and tablets, your IT guys, your maintenance guys, your service people are using, and also the PCs and laptops, everything should be updated. Otherwise, if you have um, devices in the field which are not updated, they are really a threat and can be um, hacked very, very easily. So you see in these points, it's not rocket science to make systems much more secure and to use the benefits of digitization, which I've presented to you in the beginning. Thanks a lot.